Hello, beautiful being. Oh, I just came in from outside. It's so beautiful. And it made me think of when we are awakening, what do we have to do? What's our number one thing to do when we're in our awakening process, going toward our ascension process? And that is we have to expand the density or the darkness. The way I see it, guys, is density is darkness. Darkness is density. When you hear the word evil or darkness or oppositional forces, um, the way I see it is that it's just density and it's choosing for uh, something that's more contracted. It's it's choosing for a vibration that's, that's lower. Um, I like to see everything as a vibration. So when we talk about evil or darkness or density, it's uh, a lower frequency. And all that is choice. When we're working in the quantum field, all of it's choice. So some beings are choosing darkness, density, contraction. So today what I want to talk about is just the idea of expansion. Expansion is a super, super simple practice that is so potent when you're working with density, contraction, darkness, evil, okay? So first off, as an awakened being and in your awakening process, it's like you start growing the awareness. And when you start growing awareness, you become aware of what feels contracted and dense and what feels expanded and light. And, and that's the first step is to notice the contrast and so when people are experiencing or well, experiencing people that seem evil or dark or dense, uh, perhaps they're not awakened to the idea that or the sensation of lightness and darkness. OK, so when we wake up, we start having these experiences. OK, I think of a jellyfish expanded, contracted, expanding, contracted. Um, and when we go through our awakening process, that gets very uncomfortable. <laughs> It becomes very, we become very aware of that contraction and opening. And we become aware that this feels much better, right? Expanding out feels so much better. So that is the first step in our awakening process is to know the difference. Know the difference between good and evil, dark and light, dense and, um, dense and, and what is the other opposite of that of light so living in this kind of pole polarized field uh, we can start to feel both sides and once aware of both sides then we can kind of choose we can choose and choose past the polarity of it choose past the contrast of it but seeing that as we're in this quantum field choosing this uh polarized reality on planet earth uh what happens when we are awakened and we start to feel the subtle contraction now the cool part is as we go along our awakening and ascension um it's really cool because like what contracted us in the past doesn't so much do it as much anymore but what we, we what happens, and this is really cool, is we get more subtly aware. We can start to feel the beginning of the contraction. We're like, oh, all right, let's expand that out. Um, before it has to get like tight and just. Uh. Now, why is contraction so seductive? Well, coming out of my meditation this morning, I got this, that contraction gives us a sense of control, okay? It gives us a form and a structure. When we contract around a definition or an idea or um, even a feeling, um, it, it's almost like if we can't feel anything, then at least we can feel this. It gives us a sense of um, a place in space because a lot of times spaciousness uh, feels really uncomfortable until you wake up to the possibility of it. So when we contract, when we contract around a polarized view or a definition or um, an agenda or an expectation, uh, that feels more secure. 
that feels like there's a form and structure in place. This is how I'm going to live. We feel better because we feel more in control. But when we pop, <laughs> we awaken, we start to realize that there's not much control or possibility in that contraction. And that there's way more possibility and way more control and empowerment as we expand out and we have the spaciousness of who and what we really are. So let's play with this for a second. If you think of a thought or feeling that contracts you, right? Um, feel the container of that, okay? It has walls. It's like a box. You can only feel so much in that container. You can only go to the corners of the walls of that container. You have to create your life within that container. Now, if you start to expand, open up your hands, feel the energetics, and I want you to expand your energy out to the four corners of the room. Expand it out. Now, even if we were contracted even this much bigger, okay, there's more room to breathe. There's more possibility here. You can go outside of the box of that form and structure and create something different. And now you can expand that out even further out to the corners of the town you're in. Yeah, and start to feel that there's more lightness. There's more possibility. Now, it also might start to feel a little wobbly. Like, I, I feel like I'm just spinning in the abyss. But within that abyss is a lot of possibility is any creation you want. You get to focus from there. So as we're in this expanded state, kind of, ooh, in the abyss, we get to be like, oh, what if I could be magical? What if I could help people this way? What if I really could be a singer? What if I really could be an artist? What if I could, what if I could be a mom? You know, like, what if, what if I could change the world? Like, when we expand ourselves out, we actually get empowered to be a broader possibility, more so than when we would here. So let's practice this again. So here we are. You know, your energetic field is really tight around you. You're contracted. Are we comfortable here? Ooh. Um, start to just expand. You could start it with the body, just feeling the body open up. Then expand your body out to the four corners of the room. Just imagine it, okay? Take your org field, take the outside of your body and just expand it out. You don't have to have any extra sensing to do this. Just imagine it. Take your org field out to the four corners of the room, then out to the town you live in, then out to the state you live in, then out to the country you live in, then out to planet Earth, then all the way out to the universe that you are living in and a part of, and out to the whole quantum field. Feel that possibility. Feel that spaciousness. Now, you might get a little overwhelmed. Just breathe through that overwhelm. And ask yourself this question, what else is possible now? That question helps you kind of get comfortable with the spaciousness. How does it get even better now? So I use this, uh, this simple tool of expansion all the time. So if I am having a trigger while I'm parenting a teen, right? Contraction. I make sure I expand myself back out. If I'm having something with my husband, expand it back out. If a bill comes and I'm like, oh, you know, okay, feel it. And then I expand myself out to the spaciousness because the spaciousness and the expansion in that space is where the possibilities of the universe and the quantum field are. 
those possibilities aren't here in your controlled little um, contraction. Okay, so expand back out. And, you know, it's so simple and it's so easy. And sometimes in, even in like the spiritual and awakening world, we complicate things. We keep giving things names and boxes. But honestly, guys, the quantum field and as we awaken more and more, things become way simpler. They're less defined. There's less polarity. There's less, less names. Okay. We start to realize that we are energy. We are the quantum field. And the quantum field is changeable and morphable. And you get to change it just by expanding. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that awesome? Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm, I'm curious. What do you, have you ever tried this exercise of just expanding? All right, beautiful beings. Have a beautiful day expanding yourself. Let me see if there's anything else that wants to be said here. I guess I do want to wrap up. I only said it once, but I really do uh, want to remind you of the question because I remember when I was creating more spaciousness in my life and in that this phase of awakening where I was really opening up contractions, um, I felt really uncomfortable. And I started to jump into uh, old habits of thinking and complaining and analyzing things. And I was so grateful for a friend who had said, uh, that's some old habits that you're jumping into because you're uncomfortable with the spaciousness. What if you just hung out there and didn't judge it and didn't get overwhelmed and didn't, you know, so hold out, expand yourself out, hold yourself in the spaciousness and remember that question. What else is possible here? How does it get even better here? And breathe through the adjustment of being that expanded and that spacious and that undefined. So this is the awakening journey, is detaching. Detaching from the contractions of forms and structures and definitions and boxes and polarity and even, even spiritual terms, right? The masculine and the feminine, um, even great spirit or soul, like starting to just expand from out from those, those definitions, you know, the chakra map, right? Um, whatever it is, any, any form and structure in the spiritual or religious realm. See if you can expand out past those too. I know that seems kind of freaky too, but it's just like, as we awaken and we awaken and we awaken, your next possibility is going to be in the quantum field that you get to morph and you can, you can really access it by expanding out of those definitions, out of that contraction, out of that density, out of that darkness. All right. So there's, you know, there's different levels of contraction that create darkness and evil and then contraction and heaviness, right? So start to feel the levels of that. And that contrast really helps you sense where you are in space and expanding from and out from there. And so in my perspective, there's not, there's not really evil and darkness. It's just a state of contraction of, of vibration and energy or expansion. Okay. So to really work with the darkness on the planet, basically, we just have to expand and if you saw yesterday's video, it was all about the lighthouse, um, being committed to being the lighthouse. All right, beautiful beings. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.